Oh, hey, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up payment plans in high level. Uh, why is it important? The tricks to do it because support at high level, and they're absolutely right, have been telling people you cannot do this. Well, natively you can't, but I'm going to show you how to set it up. Now, why is this important? Because you're going to have a lot of people, let's say you're selling a product for $1,000 or 997 or whatever. A lot of people uh, are not going to be able to afford that, um, but they are going to be able to afford a payment plan of, you know, uh, $333 and 33 cents. That's a $1,000. Now, actually, on a payment plan, what you might do is charge them $350, $347, or $400, for, uh, $397 times three months. So $400 times three months, that's actually $1,200. So you're actually going to make a bit more money by doing it, but people appreciate that by getting the payment plan, by paying it over three payments, or six payments, or 12 payments, or whatever it might be. So that becomes a very attractive offer for people, and they also see this lower price becomes much more attractive to me. Hey, I'm not spending $1,000. I'm, you know, I'm spending, I'm spending three ninety seven. I'm spending a little under four hundred dollars. I can afford that for a few months. I can afford that. I can't afford a thousand dollars right now, but I can afford four hundred dollars or just under four hundred dollars for the next three months. I can do that. That's that's worth it to me. So payment plans can become really attractive. Here's how to do it. We have to use an integration outside of high level. I'm going to take you through how to do it. There are multiple ways I'm going to show you right now. Now, if this is useful, do me a massive favor. Smash that subscribe button, ring the notification bell to get notifications because I'm dropping videos twice a week. Uh, and of course, I'd love it if you like and comment um, on the video as well and, and, and share it. That would be awesome. Okay, let's dive into it. I'm here in high level. I'm here in workflows. So I've started a new workflow. I've built this out already because it's much faster for me to then just quickly take you through it um, rather than build it as, as, as we go and I'll take up more of your time. So I'm going to click into each bit. I'm going to show you how to do it. Now, there are two main ways we can do this. I'm going to take you through the first um, main, main, main way and then um, I'm going to go on from there and uh, I will talk you through the second way. Now, we need an external integration. This is most likely, but not restricted to, Zapier, Pabli, or Make. I'm going to take you through one of those, but you can do it in all the others. So don't think just because I'm showing you Pabli, uh, you can absolutely zap this. And I don't really use Make, but I'm 99.9% .9 sure you can do this in there as well. You know, what I show you in, in one maps across to the others just as well. Now, there's a couple of different ways to build the workflows as well, um, but I'm going to take you through that. Now, Let's dive in. So I'm here in a workflow and let's let's start with the trigger here as well. So we're going with order form submission. So we're saying in this in this funnel and I'm just in a demo test account. Don't worry about the actual um, names of some of this. I just found some uh, one of the funnels that we happen to have in the test account. So it's a buyer list funnel. So the submission type is sale. It must always be a sale. Now, the other important point is you can you can trigger it here off bump, opt in, sale and upsell. So for instance, you could have an upsell product where you say, hey, would you also like to buy this other other product that's free payments of, you know, uh, um, free free 97 and you could do it through there. Um, now, but if we just have it off sale, and I know people are asking, can I also use a bump with this? Absolutely, you, you can use a bump. So let's say the original price was nine ninety seven, and hey, would you also like it? Um, or let, let's just fit easy numbers. Let's call it a thousand bucks. Would you also like this other product for five hundred bucks? They're going to get charged um, fifteen hundred bucks. Boom. If you use this way, where you where you you've got this payment plan, and let's say. Free payments of four hundred dollars. Would you also like the order bump of five hundred dollars? So what's this going to do? It's going to charge them nine hundred bucks, and then on the next payment, it's going to charge them the four hundred bucks, um, and so that's how it's going to go. So you can so you can work this with the um, with the order bump as well. Now, and I'm being specific about the page. Now, the restriction on doing it this way is we can't granularly work down and say let's say you've got a funnel page and you say would you like um and these are your are, are your free pricing options here you've got pricing option one um pay pay in full thousand bucks pricing option two free payments of 400 bucks um pricing option three uh six payments of 250 bucks we can't here now in this workflow say hey which one of those did they pick so the disadvantage of this way, I'm going to show you another way. Don't worry if that's what you need to do. You need to offer it at the checkout. So what you can do is before they get to the checkout page, you could say, which one would you like? And then you send them to a specific checkout page that only offers that product 
so you can do that. Now I'm going to show you the other way as well if you need to put them all in but this is a slightly simpler way so I'm going to start with this one here. Okay so if we're doing that here we go so we've got that set up we've only got the one product in here they can take the order bump too if they want um, but that's being dealt dealt with um, automatically so don't worry about that. Now when they buy that this foot this first payment of um, 397 bucks if, if that's what we're going to do this first payment 397 bucks plus the order bump if they all didn't take it do that so don't make this a subscription product you've got to set your product up 397 bucks that's it set that product up uh, um, and you've got to set different different products up for each each payment plan is a different product we're just going to assume you've got the one for you know nine nine ninety seven and then you've got your other one for three ninety seven which you're going to charge three times um, and and you're, you're going to charge them every 30 days but you're going to set this up as a one-time product not a subscription so they're going to take that they're going to take the order bump they choose to or not not really imp imp important in in how this works we're then going to put them into a workflow so when they buy that product we're then going to wait 30 days really simple we're just going to wait 30 days because they've already been charged once they got charged immediately by doing that through through through, through stripe and i'm assuming we're working on stripe um you should be able to do this on on other payment providers but the integration is much easier with Stripe. We're then going to fire a webhook um, and this isn't the premium webhook it's just a basic webhook and we're going to go to Pabli or Zapier or Make. I'm just going to start talking about Pabli going going forward but you can use all the others and they're going to give you a URL and I'll show you this. You're just going to put that in here. Basically you're just going to fire a webhook um, so in 30 days time it's going to fire a webhook. That's going to go out basically that's going to do everything we're talking about that's going to basically go to that product and it's going to charge on that product again it's going to it's get it, it uh in fact it's going to charge it's going to charge their card on file that you've got associated with them and it's going to charge them the next 397 dollars boom easy now we need to make sure that we that we uh, only do this a certain number of times right so we're going to do a math operation we're going to need to make a custom field we're going to take that custom field we're going to add one to it because we only need to do it three times. Now we only need to do it three times, but we've already done it once. This is twice. So we're so we're so we're adding one to it, and then we're doing an if condition. If uh, um, if this equals one or less. Um, so we so we've added one. So it wasn't zero. So it does equal one or less. In this case, we get we're going to do a go to, and we're going to go and basically do this all again. We're going to wait thirty days. And we're going to fire the webhook to charge it again. We're going to add one. So now we're on two. Well, it's not one or less. So it's coming down here and it ends. Um, and, it, and, and it's easy. So even if we want free payments, remember, we already took the first one. And then we started the math operation after we did the second one. So we've got to be two less on this if we do that. Now you can do things like actually put the math operation up here and you can start that field with with one and all that sort of thing but uh, um, this is a gist of of how you do that there you go you've just done your extra two payments to get your free payments and you've automated it now let's go and look at the webhook and then we'll come back to show you how you can do this if you need to put them all on the um, one one checkout page so I'm, I'm here in Pabli let me move my head over here. So you're going to get a webhook by Pabli. It gives you this URL. So this is a URL that we just um, copy copy that in here. And let's come into our, our webhook. I just put Google in there because it wouldn't save it without anything else. Um, there we go. There's 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 our webhook. So that's basically going to pick up all this 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 data. We're then going to Stripe. We're going to retrieve. We've got to retrieve the customer. We can't just go and charge them. Uh, we've got to find in Stripe who it is first, and then we can charge them. Boom! Simple as that. Um, not that not that complicated to set up. So we've got to find them, and then we can and then we can run their card, um, and and that's it. We go round and round again. Okay. Now, guys, if this is useful, again, do me a massive favor: smash that subscribe button, ring the notification bell. Give it a like, please. Give give it a like and drop a, a comment saying, you know, even if you don't have a long comment to make, just one word. Cool. Great, awesome, something like that. That would really help. Thank you so much. Um, okay, how do we do this the second way? Okay, the second way. So on your checkout, you want to have free products as well. Now I'm not going to go through this in detail, but what we're going to do is um, we're 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 still going to charge them that that one. But what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go through and for each one, you've had to make a different 
product and that product in Stripe has an ID. So we can go and again using Pabli and it's, it's a more complicated version but we can go into Pabli and we can look up that charge and we can see hey if they've been charged on that product then you're going to have a workflow for um, for payment plan for three months, for payment plan for six months, for payment plan for 12 months, whatever it is, they're all going to be separate workflows because you're going to have to charge different amounts and you're going to have to um, have to go through. So you're going to look up which one it is and then depending on which one it is, you can then charge it. So it's more complicated, it's more to think about, it's easier, quicker, better if you can do it this first way that I'm talking about so you can segment people first. Do you want the payment plan? Do you not want, want the payment plan if you do boom he he here you go and by that stage you probably capture their info so you're probably just going to send them to a, a one step checkout rather than a two step checkout as well um so that's how you do it it is a workaround it is a little bit of extra work this isn't for everybody um but this is the way to do it if you want to run a payment plan through high level doing it there so i hope this is useful now if you are not on high level on the pro plan or you haven't even signed up you don't have an account and you are interested in building and or scaling your SaaS business I need you to come over here to theprofitpact.com theprofitpact.com uh, hit the screen button here come and get our free course hit the um, blue button here join our Facebook group and say is this a real deal is this the best place to be because we will show you in 30 days how to land more clients and the cost of the software because we get you a 30 day free trial high level only give you a 14 day trial we're giving you 30 days we've done a deal with them um, this everything here is for free no tricks scams or upsells and we're going to show you in 30 days how to land more clients and the cost of the software so after 30 days when you have put zero money down no risk at all after 30 days you are going to be earning more money than the cost of the software and you'll be earning monthly recurring revenue and business owners will love you because we will show you how to add serious value to them then months after months after months they're going to keep paying you and keep paying so every new client you land that just increases the monthly recurring revenue your cash flow that you're bringing in we show you how to do this for free why high level give us a uh, an affiliate commission on the back end but it doesn't cost you anything extra that's why they've done a deal with us to give you a 30-day free trial when they only give you uh 14 days so we've got this uh, great deal with them so we show you for free now there are a lot of other programs out there that charge you between two and five grand and some of them even more they take your money up front they're not incentivized then to uh, make this work for you we take nothing up front we've got no trick scams or upsells uh, and so we are massively incentivized to make this work for you and we are giving away more than these people that charge two to five grand all for free because we want to give you the value up front and make it an absolute no-brainer for you because this works. Don't believe me? Jump into our Facebook group, ask people in there. People do that. They come in here, they ask them, search the post as well. You will find that. Um, find that we are the real deal. Scroll down here, um, see, see some, some testimonials, watch the video as well from Amy, my partner, um, in, in this. She does sales training, I do tech. You need both. You need a great tech product and then you need to be able to sell it. If you don't have both, you're messed up. So wherever you go make sure you've got a great product and you can sell it you need both of those you get more than is on this page by the way this page is not up to date because there's already so much stuff on there it confuses people but you actually get more than is on it now still don't believe me jump over to the high level website look 14 day free trial from them uh, first testimonial there and if i keep scrolling second testimonial this is me been on here since they built this page i can't remember how long the page has been around probably two three years um and the second testimonial on here, they wouldn't put me on here if they didn't think I represented their brand really, really well as well. So come and check that out. Don't, don't believe me, go straight to their homepage and go check that out as well. So please jump on in. Um, if you are interested in building and or scaling your own SaaS business or your social media marketing agency, please come and check this out. That was how you can use payment plans within high level, even though it's not a native function um, right now. Um, any questions just drop a comment on the video um, and would really appreciate some love smash the subscribe button like it comment share all of that good stuff and make sure you have an awesome day